Good morning, my kindergarten students. It's Miss Lessard. How are you? Today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2020. So let's look at our calendar. Today would have been gym class. So go do some of the gym. I forwarded some stuff from Mrs. Ross or do a go noodle or go outside and run around and have fun. Do some physical activity today because today would have been our gym class. All right, here's our calendar. Let's see. I think you figured it out by now. Tulip, tulip, umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Tulip, tulip, umbrella, umbrella, umbrella. Tulip, tulip, umbrella. What do you think today is? <gasps> okay, if you said umbrella, you're right. What two numbers make up 14? If 13 is a one and a three, what is 14? I hope you said one and a four. And of course, when you're reading a calendar, it's kind of like reading a, it's like a graph. It goes straight up and it's one of the two T words. You know it's Tuesday because it's just T than the U, whereas Thursday has that digraph, T-H. Okay, and so we know it's not Thursday. So you look straight up from the 14 and you say, oh, it's Tuesday. All right, and that's how we figure it out. We've been doing calendar all year, so you know that. All right, question of the day is... What did you dress up as for Halloween last year? And you guys know I dressed up like Cinderella. My friends and I all dressed up like Disney princesses. One was Jasmine, we were all different ones, and I was Cinderella. So I know you told me in October, but your question of the day is what were you last Halloween? Okay, um, also I want to share with you guys that I'm gonna be signing you up for Seesaw. I know that if you had Miss Howes, you did Seesaw in reading class. Um, I did send your parents a link, but I'm going to look at that today. I'm not sure if we're going to use that link. Um, I may be sending another one because I'm worried that one's attached to hers and she'll get flooded with all the in information, which is too much. So I'm going to send your parents an email. Seesaw is super cool. And those of you that have done it with me um, in my reading class know that you are going to be reading things and doing worksheets all on the iPad. So I think it's kind of cool to explore, and that's going to be our goal for this week, is to get you guys set up on that. It is a, an app that the school pays for, so if you go under the applications, you will find it. If it's not already downloaded, it looks like a little bow tie. Okay, so I'm going to look at that, play around with that the next couple days, and um, see if by the end of the week we're set up. I think it's going to be cool. We'll check it out. Why not? All right, our book today, of course, I told you I found some Easter books after Easter, but it's still really close. Easter was Sunday. This one is Easter Eggs everywhere. It is by Scholastic. Thank you. Give us permission. The author is Steve Metzeger and it's illustrated by Kathy Ember. Look at all those eggs. Some of you might have done eggs. Oh, title page. Look how cool that one is. Love that. The, oh, wait a minute. In the dedication page, of course, I have to show you that. And it's dedicated to my wonderful, to the wonderful Umholtz family, was the author. And the illustrator said, Thanks to Breezy, my egomatic consultant. Also, for all the exhibition bunnies, you know who you are. Ha, that's cute. All right, here we go. The north winds now a gentle breeze. The snow has melted off the trees. Except if you're in Maine. We still could have snow, but these people clearly aren't from Maine. Flowers sprout up from the ground. Ducklings quack and splash around. Brown bears stretch and bluebirds sing. And butterflies in flight, it's spring. And this is starting to happen. I'm starting to see more birds. And I have little daffodils, little crocuses that came out of my yard. Easter Bunny slept in bed. Dreams of springtime filled his head. Wait, spring is almost halfway through. There's lots of catching up to do. There's really no time to play. Easter's just a day away. And look, his calendar says, what month? Can you see it? April. And lots of rhyming in this book. So you listen, if you hear the end words on each sentence, you'll hear rhyming. Easter Bunny skipped outside. His whiskers twitched, his eyes were wide. Unpainted eggs lay on the ground. Whatever will I do, he frowned. Then all at once he saw a fox, a flashy fox who held a box. Uh oh, you know about foxes. In the story, they're usually the sly ones. It says, Fox's extra fast egomatic. 
got something you've never seen, the world's fastest egg painting machine. Don't you worry, don't you fret. This machine's your best bet yet. Why don't you come here and try? It's cheap today, so quickly buy it. Easter Bunny's worries grew. Why should I trust a fox like you? So look, he's trying to convince the Easter Bunny to buy this egg painting thing. I like helping. Ooh, dun, 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 dun. Sly Fox lied. I've helped Santa on his ride. And when it seemed he'd oversleep, I woke up Groundhog. Beep, beep, beep. So he's trying to say he convinced Santa Claus something. He helped Groundhog. Not sure I believe him. Easter Bunny checked his pile. I'll take the machine, he said with a smile. Drop an egg here. Go ahead. This gear makes it spin, Fox said. Paint is added. Then it's dried. The eggs roll out on the other side. Mm, good work. What do you think? Do you think he's tricking you? Fox packed his bag and left at last. Easter Bunny had to be fast. The first egg, eight eggs were looking fine, but problems came with number nine. The ninth egg was bumpy. The tenth egg was lumpy. Check them out. See how these are good and then see how they're starting to come out. Not so good. The next one was a square. Actually, it's a cube. If you did math lesson yesterday. And lighter than air. Three eggs were flat. A cracked pair after that. Pointy eggs too. Ooh, what was he to do? Oh, look. This one's a cube. These ones have a point. <laughs> one's flat. The eggs came up faster. It was a disaster. He looked for the switch, but which egg was which? Too many switches on this gadget. You can't figure out how to shut it off. Oh, I see the on off. Eggs covered all the flowers and plants. Eggs smashed the home of some hardworking ants. Eggs shattered and splattered all over here, all over that hair, meaning rabbit. Easter eggs, Easter eggs everywhere. Oh, he doesn't look happy. I think that fox tricked him. Then all at once he got a surprise. He could not believe his very own eyes. His bunny pals were all standing there. Bessie and Billy and Teddy and Claire. Ooh, friends to the rescue. It's like Positivity Project. Friends help each other. Billy and Quiet, what's happening here? Something is wrong that seems to be clear. These eggs can't be used, agreed Teddy and Bess. Let's stop this machine and clean up this mess. Oh, look at his friends helping. I love this. They all work together just like a dream, painting and laughing a smooth running team. Those bunnies painted all night long, telling stories, singing songs. And when the sun rose, their work was done. All eggs were finished, everyone. That looks like fun. The Easter basket was packed with care. Eggs piled high, ready to share. Hiding eggs spreads Easter joy to each and every girl and boy. That's beautiful. Thank you, friends, they heard Easter Bunny say. Then hippity hop, he went on his way. What do you think he's going to do? You know that answer. The end. Clap if you like it. And on the back, it has a little synopsis or summary of the story. It says, oh no, the Easter Bunny's overslept and Easter's just a day away. Will the world's fastest egg ping machine help him finish on time? Not exactly. And it says exactly. It says eggs actly. <laughs> oh, that was so good. Clap if you like it. Yay. Have an awesome day learning. And by the end of the week, we should be on Seesaw. And I can't wait to see you on Zoom on Friday. But today's Tuesday. Do some fun physical activity. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Mwah.